My name is Matt Reuter. I'm an assistant professor at Stony Brook University in the Department of Applied Mathematics and Statistics in the Institute for Advanced Computational Science, and I was a CSGF fellow from 2007 to 2011. Presently, in, in my role as junior faculty, I've got several responsibilities. Uh, first and foremost is, is working with students and, and mentoring them, which is something I'm really excited about doing. And sort of where things get maybe a little bit more interesting is through the Institute for Advanced Computational Science. We're, we're working on developing some graduate programs right now for computational science. We, we don't have anything set in stone yet. And so it's really neat trying to, to see how do you build a curriculum, how do you develop this, and I, and I think this is one of the areas where the CSGF has really helped me most so far in my career, and that that's exactly what the CSGF tries to do. So another part of my, of my professional responsibilities as an assistant professor is to, to build a research program. And so in that line, I'm, I'm continuing some of the research that I started as, as a fellow in the CSGF program, which is really to look at this idea of molecular electron transport. We have a molecule, we put it between two electrodes, and ask how does current flow through it? The CSGF is a different program from, from some of the others that are out there in that it's not sort of entirely about the science. I mean, there needs to be good science, there needs to be good engineering, but the common theme really is computation. And that's what brings everyone together, that's what everyone shares. So if you or someone you know is interested in the CSGF and are thinking about applying, that's really the thing you need to keep in mind. There needs to be good science. You come. You come from chemistry and you have this great theoretical computational problem you want to solve. That's fine. You need to have that and you need to be enthusiastic about it. Why are you interested in making sure we have solar cells with 50% efficiency sitting on top of, a, of an, on top of everyone's roof? That's an awesome problem. But for this program, that's not enough. What you also need to stress is how is computation going to help you solve that problem? What are the computational challenges? What are some of the existing computational tools? And why are they inadequate for the problem you want to solve? If you can put all that together and be enthusiastic and make me care about it, that's going to be a home run.